Thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Booker, and this is going to be our Tigers lesson for this week. What we're going to be looking at together today are the rolling wrist release. We'll be looking at the outer forearm block, protecting our face and head. From a wedge guard position, we'll be working with a double palm heel strike, backhand and front hand, and then right back into our wedge. And from that same wedge guard position, we'll also be working with open hand strikes. Again, backhand, front hand, right back into our wedge. Now we'll do a quick warm up, we'll look at some of these together. Let's start with our outer forearm. We're just going to cross our arms with our hands closed tight into fists. Bring that blocking arm up, across, and through, past your face. Turn it palm out away. Up, across, and through like that. Up, across, and through. And your other hand just pulls into your head. Up, across, and through. Once more. Up, across, and through. And let's switch sides. Cross your arms tightly, hands closed up tight into fists, bring it up, across, and then turn it out away at the end. Up, across, and turn it out. Up, across, and turn it out. Up, across, and turn it out. Once more. Up, across, and turn it out. Let's put our right foot out in front. We're going to bring our right arm up here with our elbow pointing straight out in front of us. Left hand right here. We're in our wedge guard and we're going to be doing our palm heels. It's going to be back hand, front hand, and right back into your guard. All right, let's do this together now. Back, front, guard. Back, front, guard. Back, Front, guard, back, front, and guard. Let's switch sides. Bring your left elbow up. Right hand is right here. And it's going to be back, front, and then right back into our guard. Again, with me, please. Back, front, and guard. Back, front, guard. Back. Front and guard. Once more, back, front, and guard. Now we're going to switch sides again. Going right side forward with our right elbow up. This time we're going to work with our open hand strikes. Here and here, we're coming across. Again, it's back and front and back into my guard. Back and front, back into my guard. Follow along, back, front, and guard, back, front, and guard, back, front, and guard. Let's switch sides again. Left arm up now, again that left elbow pointing right out in front of you with our open hand strikes, back, front, and guard, back, front, and guard. Back, front, and guard. Back, front, and guard. And finally, our rolling wrist release. This is a little trickier than it looks. Start with your right arm. Tuck your elbow in. Roll up and over like that. Make a small circle. Notice my elbow is tucked right in here. Right with me. Up and over. And again, up and over, up and over, that's it, up and over, on the other side. Try to keep that elbow tucked in, try to keep your circle pretty small. Just up and over, up and over, a little faster now, up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. All right, very good. Now let's do our stretch. Put your feet out shoulder width wide. 
We're coming up and over to our right. Switch sides. And relax. Let's put your hands on your hips. Go gently over backwards. And relax. Stretch up toward the ceiling. Stretch down toward the floor. And relax. Get the feet out shoulder width wide. Bend your knees a little bit. Arms out. And we're going to twist from side to side. Nice gentle twist. Your feet stay still. And your body moves. And relax. Link your fingers together. Turn your thumbs down toward the floor. <coughs> Press your palms out of way. Pull in and let's press up toward the ceiling. And let's relax. Okay. All right, we'll continue today by working a bit more with that outer forearm. And what we're doing is protecting our face and head here. We're starting here, coming up, across, and through like this. A couple of times with me. Up, across, and through. Up, across, and through. Let's try it on the other side. Up, across, and through. Up, across, and through. Up, across, and through. All right, now get your training partner, one of your parents, to help you with this. We're going to practice this with a partner. Ms. Doubly, if I can have your assistance, please. All right, now we're going to start by using the double-ended blocker. Go ahead and put your left foot forward. And I'm going to bring this up and through toward the side of her head. And Ms. Doverly is going to stop this with her outer forearm block. Brings her arm against it before it reaches her. Now let's try this together every time I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, let's switch sides. And I'm starting down here. And I'm, I'm taking this, and this the blocker here is nice and soft. And I'm aiming right for her ear. If she doesn't block this, I'm just going to touch her on the ear. All right, let's try this together again every time I count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Ms. Delphi. Go ahead and put that up for us for the moment. Now, uh, so what do you do if you don't have a blocker to work with? Well, we can improvise a little bit. Now, you're going to need to be careful with this, but what you're what you can have your training partner do is just reach in this way with an open hand and have them block your arm as you reach in. We're going to keep this pretty slow today. I'm not going to reach in real fast. My partner is not going to block real fast and hard. We don't want to hurt each other. All right, Ms. Dublin, if I can have your assistance again. So what I'm going to do is just reach up and over and she's going to stop me with her mom. So let's try it that way a few times. Again, every time I count. One. Two. Three. Four. We need to go a little faster. Five. Six. Seven. Very nice. Let's switch sides. All 
All right, again, I'm just like, I'm gonna take this, touch her right on the ear. One, two, three, four, and we'll go a little faster. Five, six, seven. Very good. It's a real good way to practice an outer forearm block. Now, the next skill we're gonna work with is going to be our double palm heel out of our wedge guard. So again, let's go right foot out in front, right elbow up, just practice a few more of these in the air. So it's back, front, right back inward guard. Again with me, back, front, and guard. Back, front, and guard. And let's switch. Our, got our left elbow up now, back, front, guard. Back, front, guard, back, front, guard. Now, as you do these, be sure you're keeping your fingers together. Don't let your fingers spread out. Much stronger press together. One more time, back, front, and guard. Good. Now again, we're gonna practice actually hitting something with this. All right, we're gonna use one of these oval arm shields. It's a good basic training tool. Put it on the back of my arm this way. Nice thick padding. As Beverly's coming into her wedge guard, I'm just gonna put it up here. She's gonna strike her palm heels right into the middle of this. All right, you strike along with her back, front, and then guard. Ready? Back, front, guard. Back, front, guard. Back, front, guard. Back, front, guard. All right, two in a row now. Every time I say go, go. signs. That's it. Okay. Back, front, and guard. Now as we do this, you can call out back, front, and guard as well. Back, front, guard. 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 All right, two in a row. Every time I say go, and Miss Dubberly, you call out back, front, and then guard okay. now. All right, with Miss Dubberly now. Go. Back, front, guard. Go. Back, front, front guard. Go. Back, front, guard. Go. Back, front, guard. Go. Back, front, guard. Go. Back, front, guard. Very good. Thank you. Now, if you don't have something like that oval arm shield to work with, we can, again, we can improvise a little bit here. Uh, the insole, please. We can use one of these, it's an insole out of an athletic shoe. It's tougher than it looks. It, ha it has to take a lot of punishment. Now, it's a much smaller target, so what we're really working on here is accuracy, hitting this small target. It's not so much about how hard you hit, but putting both palm heels right there. So I'm gonna hold it out this way and well away from my face and head. If I'm holding it like this, here, this makes it really easy to hold. I'm not going to enjoy this experience very much. Now she's going to come through here and come to here. So hold it well out of way. And go. 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 Nice target. This, it, it works surprisingly well, 
And I'll bet you've got one of these around home somewhere, your parents do, that they would be happy to let you use. All right, the next skill we're going to look at is very, very similar. They're easy to mistake for each other. The open hand strike. We're using the palm for this, but we're using it in a different way. We're coming across this way, not straight out and through this way. Now, again, we're going to work from that wedge guard position. I'm going to bring my right elbow up here, and again, it's going to be back front and wedge, back, front, and wedge, back, front, and wedge. Okay. Follow along with me. And we're switching sides here, and again, just back, front, and wedge. And I'm twisting my hips and shoulders a bit. Back, front, and wedge. That gives me better control and better power. One more time. Back, front, and wedge. All right, now we're actually going to strike something with this. For this, we're going to use one of our clapper targets. And we're setting up in a wedge guard, and it's going to be back, front, and wedge using your palms. Back, front, wedge. Back, front. Now, I'm going to say go. We're going to go just a little bit faster. Miss Doverly is going to call it out now. You call it out with Miss Doverly. Go. clapper targets. For this, you want a good two-handed hold. These open hand strikes come in with a lot of power. All right. Back, front, and wedge. Back, front, and wedge. Back, front, and wedge. Back, front, and wedge. All right. Now we're going to go a little faster. Ms. Doverly is going to call it. You call it with her. Go. Go. going to be working on accuracy. This is a much smaller target. So start a little slowly. Make sure you don't slap your partner on the hands with this. That can really hurt. It's not going to damage you, but it'll sting. Right. Back, front, back, front, and wedge. Yeah, it's, a, it's a bit of a challenge. All right, you call them now, Ms. Doverly. Go. Wedge. Go. Back. Front. Wedge. Go. Back. Front. Wedge. Go. Back. Front. Wedge. Go. Back. Front. Wedge. Very good. So you can certainly manage that with that improvised tool. Just a little bit of imagination. There's all kinds of useful training tools you can improvise. Now, the last skill we are going to be looking at at our lesson today is going to be the rolling wrist release. And we're tucking in by our side here. Just tuck your left elbow in, rolling up and around and through. Keep your circle small. Roll with me. And go. And go. Keep that elbow tucked in. If I'm out here making big circles, I'm not really that strong. I can't break a hold out here. I tuck it in close. That's where I'm in strong with that small, tight circle. 
All right, on our right side, tuck it in, up and around, up and around, up and around, up and around. All right, at this double leaf, I can have your assistance. Now, we're using this to escape a grab to our wrist here. Now, if we're way out here, and Miss Doverly starts making these big circles. We're just kind of shaking hands, <laughs> all right? Nothing much is happening. She moves a little closer and tucks in. She can break my hold easily. Then she's going to put her wedge up and move away from me so I can't grab her again. Now, one more thing. We talked about this a little bit last time. She's going to tell me, let go. I don't get to grab her. And she's going to, she is going to enforce her personal boundary. She's going to tell me, no, you don't get to do that. Over here. Let go. All right. Now, have your training partner grab you. A uh, good, firm hold. Let go. I don't want to be doing something like this, all right? My, my partner is not going to know whether they're doing it right or not if I've got them like this. I'm just grabbing with one hand, but that's the grip I want to have right there. Let go! All right, we'll take this on the other side, just here. Let go! Mm -hmm. Let go! Let's go. Let's go. Very good. Now, we're not doing quite as many of these because if your partner's grabbing fairly firmly, after a few of these, your wrists start to get a little tender. The, the skin starts to get a little uh, sore. Now, something else about these is you don't really need your eyes to do this. So, what I'm going to we're, uh, what I'm going to have my partner do here, she's going to close her eyes and just put her arms out like this. I'm not going to tell her which arm I'm, I'm going to grab. I'm not going to tell her when. She's going to keep her eyes closed, break my hold, do the release, tell me let go and move away. Let go! Let go! Let go. Let go. Let go. <laughs> Have some fun with this. Thank you, Ms. Dark. It will work against a double grab. And you don't have to look at what you're doing. This is something, once you know it, you can do it by feel, and it will work just fine. Now, be sure to practice with all of these skills two or three times this week, if you can. And again, if you have uh, questions about any of these, please get in touch with me. Uh, send me an email. I'll be happy to, to answer any questions you have about your skills. Now, I think I neglected to formally bow us in at the beginning of our lesson together. I was just a little excited to get started, but we will bow out at the end. So feet together, hands by your side, standing up nice and straight, and with me, Sharyu, Hyunae. Well, thank you very much for joining me for today's lesson. Have fun with your practice at home, and we will see you next time.